Hello everyone and welcome to another Geometry Dash video, and I've been playing this game for four and a half years now. Throughout the time I've been playing the game, I've built or at least attempted to build levels, so now I'm going to show all of my building progress in 2014. This is part one, so in this part I'll be showing all of my really old levels in chronological order, including unfinished and removed levels, but not layouts because I feel like they don't accurately show my progress. While this part will showcase all my old garbage levels, part two will actually show me getting somewhere. Unlike all my other videos where I move on after I stop talking, I will be showing all of my levels in their entirety. Also, a lot of my levels have copyrighted songs and I don't want to get claimed, so I replace them with songs with the same BPM, so they'll sync in some way, but I did have to alter the speed of a few songs by a tiny bit. I'll mainly be talking about my memories when building each level along with what I think about them now. I may not be the best creator to make this kind of video, but hey, at least you'll be able to cringe at my horrible levels, and I'll warn all of you right now, these levels are some of the worst, ugliest, and cringiest levels this game has to offer. So without further ado, let's take a look at my first level, Theory of Everything 2 Remix. Hey everyone, this is my first real level for Geodash. P.S. This level is just experimental. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Before I say anything, I want to say the original song is in fact Theory of Everything 2, but it's copyrighted. Now, I kind of want to talk about the description here. When I said first real level, I meant I messed around with the editor on someone else's account for about 5 minutes and named it first level, and now it's deleted. So this is my first real level, I guess. Also, there is a reason why I said this level was just experimental. I meant to say experimental as in me experimenting and messing around with the level editor, not experimental as in something completely original. That's how I hear the word at least. Now, the reason why I said that was because some people at school saw my level, all disliked it, and left me comments, so I put this level is just experimental as an act of defense. This level was removed, but I uploaded it again, and you can see on my profile. Power of the Stereo. It's pretty obvious I haven't tried at all to improve creating after my first level because this was just a remake of Stereo Madness. The song's Stereo Madness 2 and it's pretty obvious a lot of the gameplay looked a lot like Stereo Madness. Also at the beginning of the level the background turns white and the reason why it, it does that is because I added a background color trigger because at the time those existed but I didn't know how to change the color so I just left it at its default setting which was white and the whole level was white from then on. I don't know what made me think this level was good, and I think it's because I saw the most downloaded levels which were really old, and I thought that was just the standard for levels. This level was removed for obvious reasons. Chaos Dash. I remember I freaked out when I found out I could use a song in GD. If you don't know, Geometry Dash took inspiration from another platforming game, the Impossible Game. While in its 1.0 stage, the two games looked almost identical, but of course Geometry Dash remained superior because of how much it's grown. The soundtrack to the second level was Chaos Fantasy. I honestly have to credit the Impossible Game because I really got into their soundtracks as well as GDs, and now I'm completely EDM obsessed thanks to those games. Enough with the song, this level was way more annoying than I remembered. The first UFO especially requires this weird pattern of jumps to get through. Also, this is the first time I've ever used a speed change and a wave, so that's a thing. This is the longest lasting level I have on the GD servers, and it's not going to go away anytime soon.
Butter Haze. Only epic Minecraft gamers will remember this title. 2014 was the golden era of Minecraft Let's Plays. The most subscribed Minecraft YouTuber at this time was Sky Does Minecraft. And if you remember his videos, he had an unhealthy obsession with gold, which he called Butter. This song is called Golden Haze, so yeah, that's the joke. My initial idea for this level was just to change game modes a lot and make the gameplay really chaotic. Unfortunately, I forgot about that idea, which is really a shame. I could have been way ahead of my time if I elaborated on the idea of making actually fun gameplay. This level still stands out to me in comparison to my 1.9 levels, because at least it has better gameplay and design than my other ones. I also remember this level getting 12 dislikes at one point, which was a huge deal to me at the time. Despite this, this level still remains on the servers. Endless Game. The original song was Endgame by Water Flame, but I changed it to Time Lapse by the Fat Rat. This level is 2 minutes and 16 seconds long, making it my first XL level. This was also not the last time I made XL levels, I guess I just liked long levels to test your consistency. Now what I've noticed about my old levels after playing them again is how many mistakes there are, whether it's just a block slightly out of place or adding a random block somewhere. I wasn't able to fix these mistakes and they're really infuriating to look at now. This would probably be insane rated if it got raided, and I remember this was the hardest level I've beaten for a while since I was struggling on Can't Let Go when I verified this. I remember being really proud of this level when I first released it, but looking back, the gameplay is confusing, and there's basically no deco. This level is still on the servers, and you can play it if you want. Heaven Seizure. Warning, major seizure warning. If you frequently suffer from seizures, don't proceed. This level has lots of flashes. I'm reciting the description to you because I thought this was comedy gold. This level is pretty much what you think it is, the drop flashes a bunch of colors. I thought it was so cool to make a seizure inducing level, although I didn't even know what a seizure was. The original song, Heaven Road 3, was the soundtrack to the third level from the Impossible game, so this was one of the songs that was responsible for me getting into EDM, but it's copyrighted so I replaced it with Fly Away by the Fat Rat. This level continues after the drop for some reason, so it's XL, but there isn't anything too interesting after the drop. When I first released this level, it got 30 downloads overnight, and I remember thinking that was a huge number. Despite this, this level was removed from the GD servers.
Skrillex Theory of Everything 2. This was a level where I took two things that I was completely obsessed with, Skrillex and Theory of Everything 2. This was pretty much a very poorly made Theory of Everything 2, which I made sync with First of the Year by Skrillex, because at that time Skrillex blew up with his dubstep productions, and to be honest, I have mad respect for his older works to this day. First of the Year is obviously copyrighted, so I replaced it with Soul Snatcher by Dex Arson. I don't even think I unlocked Theory of Everything 2 when I made this, so I looked at a video of it and basically copied all of the decoration. There's pretty much nothing original, and it looks like a huge mess looking back. Although the song is removed because it's a Skrillex song, this level still remains on the servers. Ring of Fire. This level uses the song Fire Aura, which was a soundtrack to the first level in the Impossible game. If one song in particular was responsible for getting me into EDM, it would be this one. When I first discovered PewDiePie, he did an electric shock challenge with the Impossible game, and still, I find the song very nostalgic. The level itself is absolutely terrible, I would even call it a step down from my past levels because of the lack of air deco. I don't really remember much about myself building this level, I just remember it getting no attention, and it got removed pretty quickly. The Chase. I remember finding this song when looking at random songs on Newgrounds, and when I say random songs, I mean looking at Newgrounds most viewed songs. I honestly have no idea what I was trying to do here. I tried to make some art, but failed, and the drop is a blatant ripoff from another level, Lucid Dreams, which was a huge level back in 1.9. I feel like this along with pretty much all of my 1.9 levels were good in concept and super ambitious projects, but I wasn't skilled enough in the editor to make anything significant, making everything look like garbage. This level, for example, tried to be an art and effects level, but I clearly didn't know what I was doing. This level was pretty quickly removed from the servers and no one cared about it. Light Coaster. The original song was Lightspeed by Waterflame, but I changed it to Xenogenesis by the Fat Rat. To the people who didn't play GD during 1.9, auto levels looked like a normal level, but with pads so the player wouldn't have to tap. I guess some of the gameplay here was well synced, but there was pretty much no decoration and in some cases I used the wrong blocks. 
I remember being so proud of the wave near the end of the level, which you'll see later, just because of how spammy it is. I also remember this level bugged a lot, especially during the wave, so I had to bug fix it later. Still, when playing this level now, finishing this level was pretty much impossible because of how buggy it was, so I had to edit the level to make it work. This level is still in the servers, and if you want to play it, you can. Destructive. The only thing I remember from this level was that I made it in Hong Kong. When I visited Hong Kong, I pretty much played GD whenever I could. Also, I was about to unironically call this level Epic Destruction, which honestly would have been hilarious if I had. I actually struggled trying to beat this level, it was the closest thing I've been to raging at the game for a long time. There were a lot of fakes and I always forgot, and because I didn't remember myself building the level, I struggled. Also, you have to love the fact that I unironically used club step monsters in the UFO part, and spoilers, this isn't the last time either. Despite being almost done with the level, this level is unfinished and was never released. Demon Adventure. So I had to do a cut run on this one, this one was just too annoying. When I was in 7th grade and there were more people at my school playing the game, they always thought making difficult levels was better than making easy ones. I for some reason thought my levels weren't hard enough, so I made this. Also, I promise at this time, At the Speed of Light wasn't overused. This level is really just a huge mess, it has some of the worst transitions and pretty much no deco. I also started this during Hong Kong and like Destructive, I was extremely close to finishing this, but I didn't for some reason, so I never released it. Bangarang. I don't know why I made this level. I absolutely love the song, it's made by Skrillex, but because the song was made by him, you'd think I learned my lesson on Soul and Newground songs. Guess I didn't. I also remember verifying this late at night and raging a lot, so basically every single part has been nerfed in some way, and now it's stupidly easy. This level is still on the servers if you want to play it, but the song has been banned years ago.
Living Minecraft. This was what happened when I tried to combine two games I really liked, Minecraft and GD. This was obviously inspired by another Minecraft level, it had similar difficulty and basically the same decoration. When I released the level, it got 400 downloads overnight, which I freaked out over since it was such a huge achievement to me. This level is still on the servers if you want to play it. Star Wars 4. Oh god, what was I thinking? I remember seeing the song on Newgrounds and being like, yep, I'm gonna make a Star Wars themed level. I don't even want to say anything about this level, I just want you to look at this atrocity and just try to make sense of this level. This level was unreleased, but it was really close to being finished. Danger Zone. I remember being so proud of this level. Obviously, this was inspired by Theory of Firepower by Dorami, because I remember seeing it thinking it was god-tier difficulty, and I remember this level so well. When I played this level after 4 years, the muscle memory was still there. I vividly remember making this during the summer, where I had this summer camp, and there were people also into GD, and this was sort of my show-off level. I also remember I was so proud of this, I put it onto the Herobrinecraft channel, but because I was lazy, I made a cut run of it. This level is still on the GD server, so you can use it as a show-off level if you want to learn it. Dubstep Idols. Before making this level, I just knew I wanted to make a level with this song, but the version everyone used was banned from Newgrounds, so I went out of my way to find another version of the same song on Newgrounds that wasn't banned. I don't really remember why I wanted this to be an auto, I think I started building and then just decided to make it auto. I pretty much just displayed a bunch of words across the screen because there were only four color channels and the level looks atrocious. Also, the song isn't even dubstep, it's just a few songs in the mashup that are dubstep. This level was removed from the server and got no attention.
Strato Circles. This was when the 9 circles trend was relevant. I mean, I was still late to the party, but it was an easy level for me to build. Again, I used a band new ground song, Top of the World 2 by Stephen Walking, which is an excellent song by the way, it really brings back nostalgia listening to it again. To avoid copyright, I used Oblivion by the Fat Rat. There really isn't anything special, it's just a 9 circles level, the beginning, as you may expect, looks atrocious, and the 9 circles part has way too many fakes. I think that this would be around the difficulty of Fractured Circles just because of its annoyance. This level is still in the servers if you want to play it. Level 8. This was a collab between myself and my friend at the time. He quit GD and this was a level he released but was only 30 seconds long so I decided to finish it. However, literally all I did was copy and paste his decoration so our parts pretty much look identical. I'm only showing my part here but I don't really have to show the other one because they look identical. Still, this level is on the servers if you want to play it. If problematic is level 1, I don't really remember anything about me building this level, probably because I built it so quickly. This whole level is just an easy version of problematic, this is when the if blank were level 1 trend actually got levels featured. It's honestly hilarious how the 9th circles effect doesn't even work properly in this level. It really shows my level of laziness, but other than that it's just an easy problematic. This level is still in the servers if you want to play it. System Overload. I remember hating this song when I first heard it when Jzor released Ditch Machine, so I don't really know why I use this song. I still like the gameplay at the beginning, I think I tried to make it slow but awkward, and I think I succeeded at that, but after the beginning the quality of the level dropped immensely. I think I tried to make a retro themed level because that was a huge style back in 1.9, but looking at this level now I don't really know what I was trying to do, and during this UFO section you can clearly tell I just gave up making decoration. This level was unreleased, about two thirds of the level was done, and honestly I kinda wish I was able to pull through. It's been so long. I don't really know when I made this level or anything about the building process. All I remember is playing it a lot and then running out of ideas. Honestly, the whole concept of making a Five Nights at Freddy's level is super cringy, and I'm glad I ran out of ideas for this level. Super Sanic. 
The original song was Ludicrous Speed by F777, but I replaced it with Shape of the Sun by Creo. When building this level, I specifically remember looking up top 10 best levels ever made and trying to copy objects from those levels, and obviously I didn't know what I was doing, and I made this 25 second mess instead. I feel like the reason why I stopped making this was because it turned out a lot worse than I thought it would, but that was the case with all of my old levels, really. Insomnia. The original song to this level was F777's remix of Insomnia, but I used Arcana by Extruler. I specifically remember making this at my grandma's house when I came to visit, and I made this on my phone, and honestly this isn't super ugly. It's still ugly, but most of the colors turned out okay I guess. It still got much worse during the end, although I would consider this one of the better 1.9 levels I made, this level still got no attention and was removed from the servers. Sky Doom. I made this entirely during my aunt's wedding. Let that sink in for a moment. This was how dedicated I was to making garbage levels. I remember the concept for this level was to make something that started out really difficult, but on the break we go back to easy. I didn't really do that and I'm glad I didn't, it would have been a disaster. It was still fun to build this because I was able to show off my pro building skills to my cousins who also downloaded Geometry Dash. I struggled verifying it on the same day, but I barely did it. This level was removed from the servers because no one cared about it when I released it. Dub Haze. I don't really remember much about me building this level. While Butter Haze used the beginning of Golden Haze, this level used the second half of the song, so I'm not sure if I was trying to make a sequel to Butter Haze or not. All I remember is just being really proud of the result, but looking at it now, there was some really annoying gameplay, and the end was ripped off by Revolution by Funny Game. Because I was so proud of the result, I was expecting this level to blow up, and was kind of disappointed when this level got no attention. Luckily, it still remains on the servers to this day. Terror. Before I say anything, the original song was Sonic Blaster by F777, but I changed it to Stronger by The Fat Rat. This was going to be my last 1.9 level, which as you can see was an absolute mess. It's funny how I thought the solution to making better decoration was to just spam it all over the place to the point where everything overlaps. I started making this when I was about halfway done with the level, but then 2.0 came around and I frantically started putting a bunch of 2.0 objects everywhere, even though I had no idea what I was doing. Afterwards, I tried to continue the level and still didn't know what I was doing, so I just abandoned the level. And this marks the end of every level I've made in 1.9.
Honestly, it's crazy how long I've been playing this game. It'll be about 4 months until I've been playing this game for 5 years, longer than any other game I've played. While I consider myself to be not too qualified to make this video and part 2, I find it crazy how I started out so terribly when I built levels and now I'm able to make videos off of my creating skills that people actually watch. If you have made it to the end, congratulations, this is the longest video on the channel so far, and I think part 2 will be even longer. Anyways, I hope you have all enjoyed, if you have, make sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're interested in my content, and as always guys, this is Floroni signing out.